Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today I'm going to be reviewing the CVV Mini Praxis folding knife. This is a beautiful knife, and it's it's for the most part comfortable. It's a little small for my hand in certain positions, but it is a mini, so it, it's it's a smaller blade. This makes a great EDC blade. It's lightweight. It's only 5.26 ounces. The blade is a black stone wash D2 steel. Where in this case, I have the um, green uh, G10 uh, handle. And I'll take a nice little look on this handle here. Let's see if I can zoom in here. So, although it looks relatively smooth, it's got some really nice indentations. They are, if I can get the angle right, they actually look like the little hexagonals. So it's a good, good, amount, of, uh, good amount of traction in here. You know, it's got a nice sound to it. This uses uh, ceramic ball bearings in the mechanism, and it's a liner lock. That's actually my only other issue about this, other than it doesn't quite fit my hand right. The liner lock is small, and it's really inbound. So with one hand, like if I'm holding it, I actually have a really hard time trying to close that. My finger just slips right off. So then again, it, again, it is a small blade. So this is uh, blade length is 2.98 inches long, so just under three. Overall length is 6.79 inches. Um, and it's you know really, really light. I don't know if I can show you the inside. If I can get enough light to do that. Here we go. In order to reduce the weight, they skeletalized, skeletalized. They remove material on the inside uh, of the uh, frame to make it a little bit lighter, which is a nice touch. Most places, uh, most knives in the same price range um, is usually solid all the way across and a little bit heavier. This does have a belt clip, so that's nice too. No lanyard hole. I mean, I suppose if you really wanted to at the end, you could. Obviously, this is a little dirty. It's been in my pocket. Uh, so I've been playing with this for a little while as my current EDC knife. Let's see, there's some writing on the back there. See, it just says D2, D2 steel. Um, it's got some nice jimping on the top. And that's pretty good there. It's just hard for me to close. I don't have to do a two-hand, unfortunately. But it opens up nice and smooth. There is no flexing of the blade. If I can get this to focus, would be great. There we go. There's no movement, left or right. If you hear anything clicking, it's probably one of the bones of my fingers. Um, but that's really my only complaint is the liner lock with it. Oh, and that's the main functional one. And let me zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. So I got a relatively large hand. So unless I'm holding it like this, my pinky's at the very end. Otherwise, my pinky just wants to roll off the end. And that's not a, really a fault of the knife. It's just me for getting the smaller... It's my fault for getting the smaller version of this knife. So they make a larger one called the Praxis. This is the Praxis Mini, or Mini Praxis. Why they put Mini in the front, I don't know. Um, so this is, again, made by CVV. That's C-I-V-I-V-I. -I -I, which literally means... C-I means happy. And V-I means joy. So you got Happy Joy Joy is the brand. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of Ren and Stimpy, if you yeah, anybody grew up in the 90s. Um, so that's that. It does come with a little clamshell case, which is currently open, so you can see what's inside here. Here's the website, cvv.com. Inside the clamshell, a whole bunch of little stuff in here. There's a Sticker of the knife. It's pretty close in shape, except this one's got a lanyard hole in it. And it tells you, uh, love your new knife, show your experience, let the world know. So, but it is a little sticker. That's kind of cool. Um, it's got this thing here, love your knife, share your experiences. Just another one, which I believe is also a sticker. It feels like it. Yeah, that might just be cardboard, but it feels like it's a sticker. It's got that 
material to it. There is a product use and warranty information. And a whole bunch of really small print, so I hope you have your glasses. Um, so, a whole bunch of instructions there. Uh, where you can look them up. CVV Knife on Facebook, at uh, YouTube, at Instagram. And a warranty certificate. So, you have a lifetime warranty against defects in materials and workmanship. That's cool. You also have a small cleaning cloth. Cloth? Eh, I can't talk today. Um, it's like a microfiber cloth. That's the inside of the case. It's kind of furry on the inside. That's kind of cool. And uh, Best Buy of the Year Award 2021. That shows the Elementum. It's a little bit more expensive knife, but they have a little catalog on the inside. You see, there's the actual Praxis. It's quite a bit longer than this one. And a whole bunch of other cool stuff in there. A little catalog. So, that's it. That's my quick review of the Mini Praxis by CVV. Um, it's actually a nice complete kit, considering it's got the little protective case and a microfiber cloth and a sticker and a little catalog and the warranty information. Most brands that are even significantly more expensive than this, um, because this is a, well, it's a cost-effective, it's a budget knife. Um, it's not super, it's not expensive. Not super cheap, but it's not expensive either. Um, I'm going to leave the link to uh, Amazon where you can find it. It's actually where I found it. It was on sale at the time, which was just uh, a few days ago. So I would check there first if you want. Or go to cbv.com. And they're always running uh, clearance sales. Uh, they're Right now they're running a summer sale. They have a whole bunch of discontinued knives. Um, and they're all really nice quality. Obviously, you can see my fingerprints on this, and, well, considering I've used it quite a lot already, it is quite sharp, so it shaves quite well. Um, doesn't look like it, but it is really, really sharp. Considering I've used it for opening up packages, smashing uh, old plastic bottles, um, the little arts and crafts work at work having to make a uh, project for them. Um, so, concerning the amount of abuse I've put it in so far, um, it's actually doing really well. The finish is holding up. Obviously, again, there's some fingerprints on there, which I could always clean up. But it is a nice little knife. It's a great EDC knife. Um, if you have bigger hands, you may want to go with the full-size Praxis. Um, I wasn't really, in the, really looking for a new knife because I do like my other one, but... This is definitely making its way into my regular EDC rotation. So, it's nice. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Uh, please like this so I know more of what you'd like to see. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There's going to be a whole lot more stuff coming soon. I've got a, two more multi-tools to do, probably this week. And a couple of knives and a whole bunch of other stuff coming. So, um, it's going to be a busy schedule for me this week, but uh, I get to see all cool things like this. So, thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.